Yellow. Beautiful 675 LT right over there. Oh, 24. Ooh, that's a clean GT3 RS. Beautiful S. Beautiful S. Alright, we got this Dude, Liberty Walk. Liberty Walk, walk. let's go. They said I wasn't going to see any Liberty Walk in Miami. Bro, <laughs> that boy Clean Turbo S9 1.2. Beautiful, beautiful. Got a sweet slant nose right there. GT3 RS. Ooh, GT2. I see you. Actually, is that a GT2 or is it a body kit? That one's a GT2 for sure. GT3 RS. Man, this is a poppin' show. I think IndyCars and Coffee is still a little bit better. What do you think, Nate? I'm gonna go with a disappointed. Like Dude, V12 i8. 12 i8. Oh, yes, 720S. Ferrari F2. Another awesome. 720S in the rain. Beautiful, beautiful. Not really, but yeah. Uh, ACRs for days down there. Can't wait ooh, to get out and walk around. This fancy dude, there's like seven ACRs over there. No. Oh goodness. Ooh, R34. R34. Whoa. Very nice, 570. Gorgeous Tundra. Love it. Gorgeous 911R. And as you saw, there are several other TAs, but there's still this one left here. Color on an SA Wow. No way. Well, that is crazy. Toyota 2000 GT. Woo! Ushka. Kind of want to check out that F50. We'll come back to this stuff, get some photos, because it's a lot of photo worthy vehicles out here. Cars and coffee, take note. DJ seems like a great idea. GT3 RS here. Man. Daniel Kralis struggles for the camera. Gets it right in time to capture the GT3 RS. Lovely ZR1. American Muscle. Another ZR1. Gotta get a little workout in, burn off some of the carbs from keeping food and whatnot.
2 Series really <laughs> outdid the, the Aventador. Here we have a Rolls Royce Phantom. It swoops forward gently, easily. Propels itself silently into the glorious future. So Nate, care to explain, uh, how's your camera going? My camera's got the battery life to save the day, to tell you what. I'm just choosing not to use it right now. <laughs> yep. just decided to use my phone for right. a little bit. But, it's not uh, like it died or anything. No, it's good, dude. Yeah, it's totally good. Dude. Wow. Frightening. A little frightening. Revs to 200 RPM, still backfires yeah. like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CTSV wagon. Wow. Oh, the F50 is stopped at a gas station. He is refueling. Lovely Don here. Whoa! Incredible. Great sound, great sound. Yes, thank you. That is that is what we wanted. That's it. Alright, explain those. Again, revs to 200 RPMs and backfires like crazy. Because that was a little muddy. Oh, he's in a swamp. Yeah. We have a slant nose coming through. about to be a very interesting green light. Nathaniel says that was a gated six. Definitely. Incredible. You can tell by the way he took off. Incredible. There's the Iricon E. Did not work. Try it, again? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I don't think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't think it worked. Wowzers. Nice parade of supercars going. Can I, I'll be right back in in a second.
I'm sorry for the weird stuff. I literally just got a drink. I love these new C63s. No idea what that is. Anyone knows what that car is, just let me know in the comments. Here we are at your average Porsche dealership. It's a lot of really mediocre vehicles. Nothing unique in the or uh, uncommon, you know, no interesting vehicles here, unfortunately, just lame Porsche dealership. Ooh, a Gran Turismo, no, that's a nice car. Like I said, um, here at this Porsche dealership, they don't really have any interesting cars, maybe a nice boxer or two, but nothing, you know, like unusual or eye-catching, I guess. Yeah, so I finally found an interesting car. This is um, the new 2018 Porsche Boxster. Someone put a 918 badge on it, but, uh, you know, it's pretty clear it's the Boxer. They didn't offer this color, the 918. It's a standard Porsche Boxer color. They released the first in Saudi Arabia. Um, <clears throat> pretty good looking car. I will say it is really bold of Porsche to have placed the exhaust underneath the light. I mean, I haven't seen that before, but there it is. The exhaust kind of hiding away right in there. The new 2018 Boxer. Um, we'll have to see what the press think of it when it starts getting released, but, you know, it's, it's kind of meh. Okay, so here we have a Toyota 2000 GT, for those of you who don't know. This is a very special Toyota, probably the most special of all the Toyotas. Um, actually used in a James Bond movie, right? I'm not going to pretend I know this car, I just know it's really rare and valuable. And also look at those quad exhaust pipes. Goodness gracious. See if we can get that polarizer, show me the interior. Wow. So yeah, really incredible to see a 2000 GT in the flesh. Of interest is also this gorgeous Defender right here. Thank <laughs> you. 